welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my November makes. First of all is the shirt I'm wearing. It's McCall 6964. This is what the pattern looks like. Uh, several people have said this is a wonderful shirt pattern. And I looked and I had it and I thought, hey, we're doing this. This is in the plan. And I do like it. I like it because it has a V-neck. And I prefer V-neck tops. The thing that I will change next time is how deep the V goes. I would like it to be up about an inch or two, so from the, the point of the V. So the other thing I did with this pattern is that I, I had to redo the neckband twice. Um, it, when I finished it the first time, it was standing up a little bit and not laying flat. And so I did, has, has been suggest, as has been suggested in the past, and I just shortened the neckband. That fixed the problem, I feel like, and it's keeper. The other change I'll make is the sleeve. It's a little um, wide at the end where the hem is, and so I just need to take that in about an inch, and then I think it'll be perfect. So, love the pattern. Glad I make it, made it. Thank you, Katie, from So Old Fashioned. So, let's see. The other thing I want to talk about is my purple floral. This is the New Look 6104 View C with all the pin tucks on the front and the tuck in the cuff. Changes I made are similar to the one that I've made in the past. Um, so I redrafted the front so that the neck was higher and I graded between sizes. So it's a 14 up here and at the bottom it's a 16 um, just to give me a little more room in the hips. And what else did I do? The back. So on the peach one, I used a size 16 back and attached it to the, to the 14 graded to a 16 front. And what I found is that the neck was standing up again. I have this thing about standing up necks that are supposed to lay flat. And so it's improved with this version, but I would still like to see it a little flatter. So there might still be some more adjustments. And yes, I know I should just do a real full bust adjustment on the pattern. Um, this was my try to see if I could make it work without doing that again because I was so close. So I will probably do another one. No, I'm going to be doing another one in the future and just rework that pattern front. So that is the purple. What I have left is to hem and do the buttons. I have been on a search for buttons and that's why this isn't done. It's because I spent yesterday looking for some lilac buttons locally that I could have the same day and finish the project. So since that didn't happen, what I'm going to use are just some small white pearl buttons. And they are beautiful and they're from my button jar. They're old shirt um, buttons and they will work. They will work. But I'm sad to not have purple buttons on my purple shirt. So anyway, that's the purple floral. For my daughter, I made a McCall 7424 View E and she loves it and has received several compliments about it. And and I like it. I made it with this sweater knit and then it's a really heavy weight, does not drape. And then this rayon in the back. And the things about the pattern are that the neckband stands up quite a bit. Um, and so I need to look at, at changing that and it could be because it's such a heavy weight and it might need to be a little bit smaller. The other thing is that the back overlay does not match the front. I did this as the pattern directed and I will do it different next time so that those match up a little better. And as I was making it, I was like, this isn't, I'm not sure, but since this is a wearable twirl and I'm figuring this out, this will work. And uh, it does work and she enjoys wearing it. The front is very plain and then the back has the wow. So she enjoys this top. Uh, the last thing I made, one, two, three, four, yep, the last thing is my Butterick 5246, and I did view A, and the thing about this dress um, is that I made it um, shorter than the previous one and longer than the pattern. So the previous one I made came to about my ankle, and this one comes mid-calf, and I wear it with tights, and it's wonderful. It's so comfortable. Uh, the sleeve length is perfect. Uh, I changed the ties. The ties are meant to be a single layer of fabric, but this fabric is white on the other side and I didn't want white. So I doubled it up and uh, it works better that way. I'm having trouble still 
with the um, lining on the bodice rolling forward. And so I tacked it down on the front and it still rolls forward a little bit. And maybe that's just part of lining with knit dresses. I think what I would like to try is a neckband. Uh, the pattern has like a cowl neck, but that's, I'm not sure I really want to do a cowl neck, but I might look into it. Um, it would still have, I think it still has the um, lining piece. So I'm gonna have to look into that, but love the dress. Definitely a repeatable pattern. So that's November. So December is a lot of Christmas sewing, lots of Christmas sewing. So I have all the fabric sitting here and the patterns and I've decided what to do is to just show you the fabric and talk to you about the fabric as a whole um, because I do have family that watches. So let me grab the fabric. Right, here's the fabrics. So these are a set, these three here. So this is a sweater knit and it's got all these little flecks of, of color. It's kind of a purpley gray and pink and a little bit of yellow. So I have this, um, this is a cotton uh, knit. It's in the juvenile print knits at Joann's. So that one and then the solid purple that matches it with the sweater knit. And that's for one person. And then this is the next one. This is a uh, like a sweatshirt uh, knit. It said like sweater knit. Um, it's really heavy and um, it doesn't drape. Let's <laughs> say that, it doesn't drape. But it has these wonderful polka dots. There's red and pink, and there's blue and turquoise, and there's greens. And yeah, really like it. And so this green is going to go with this for someone else. And then I make Christmas pajamas, and these are the flannels that I'm going to use this year. So there's this camping, canoeing, hiking, fishing one. And this next one reminds me of strawberry shortcake from when I was a kid. Be making some pajamas out of that and then this wonderful um i would call it a plaid with all these colors so that will be the december fabric that i'll be using and it will keep me very busy very busy which december usually is getting ready for that is my december sewing plans and it's all for other people so i'll finish up my purple um uh, blouse probably this weekend while the kids are I don't know, well, we're just kind of hanging out for the long weekend. And then next week, while they're all in school, I'll get started on all that Christmas sewing. So I'm really excited about it. The other thing I need to let you know is that December, I will be uh, posting less as I am focusing so much on the holiday. Um, I just decided I need this little break to just really focus on my, my celebration with my family. So you'll see another video again for sure. Um, at the beginning of the year with what I made in December and how it went. It, but until then, everyone, I'll still be roaming around YouTube. I just won't be posting anything for a little while. So take care. Have a great December, and I hope you're sewing up a storm.